Welcome my friends, welcome on Travel Scott channel. In this tutorial we will create image comparing slider with React. So it's a new format and the idea was pretty simple. Find some great tool or code with created with jQuery, pretty old library and rewrite it with React. So I found uh, this image comparing slider. It was created with jQuery and I rewrite it with React. So as you see, behavior is the same. I will show you how it worked in the old one. So now we can compare two images and drag and drop, drag comparing position. For example, it works great for comparing the same images but with another styles and for something crazy comparing dogs and cats. So it works great and the same for this one what I like the most comparing two different uh, colors or styles for day and night. So how it worked in demo with jQuery almost the same so all source code you can find in my github repository link will be in the description for this video and you can find link to jQuery sample as well in the description so how I created this script it will be a bit another format I want to show you line by line how to write it I will describe how it was created so let's take a look on the code what we have so script was created with create react app and what we have inside first of all let's start from the index.js it's a regular file we have react it's react 17 also uh, so we have importing application and we have reset CSS we added these styles just to rewrite default behavior for browsers it's not very important part and inside app what we have we have three sets of images we have slider component I will show you how it was created and we created three different objects with data the first one is original and modified image with the URL and the title and for this one the first one we have some delay for two next we don't have delay but we have the same URL and the title and the third one so we are using slider and we are passing props everything what we have in this object is original modified and uh, delay let's go to components and uh, see slider we have slider we have three props delay zero by default and uh, we have two additional components but it's not the most important okay what we have in uh, our component first of all it's a figure with the two images images we put into the separate components and uh, for the second one we have wrapper with uh, width and we have handle component let's inspect so we have figure the first one it's image it's on the background and uh, label we have and we have resize cd resize image is a part what we change with by dragging this component and inside we have image also we have cd handler it's our small component we are dragging it was moved to the separate component so let's start from the simple components it's image let's go to components and image so what we have we have only two parts it's url and the title title we can skip so if we don't have title 
we don't show spawn with the class name and uh, for image we have class name, we have URL and we have title as alt. Also we have prop types, it's very important for comparing types of props and we have default props describing this way and this way. And we have some styles. Styles are copied from the sample I showed at the beginning. So we described image, it should take max width 100% and uh, width and height 100%. For labels we set uh, font family, position where it should be located. For added color and the text shadow in case if your image will be white and you won't see a text on the white background. Also we have white space no wrap in case you have two words in the title and uh, when the size is pretty small uh, these words won't be break. We have some padding and opacity. Opacity is zero and when it's visible we set one it's for delay effect. Let's take a look what we have. For example, here, as you see, we don't see it, and then we see components. So this component is image pretty easy, we use it twice. The next one is handle. For handle we have the same dumb component, only with one spawn. We pass in some styles and when it's when it drag is started, we adding class draggable. Let's take a look what we have inside for classes. So it's position, we have height and width, we can change it. We have background with uh, SVG, SVG image. We change cursor, we add some box shadow. Opacity is the same zero. And when it's visible, we change opacity and we have some transform for animation. And we have, when it's draggable, we change the background color. By default, it's this one color. When we drag it, it's another color. It's changed here. So these components are simple. Let's go back to the main one, index. What we have? We have three main events. The first one is on drag start, stop, and uh, no, let's go to handle. In handle, we have the most important event. It's, it's on mouse down and on mouse up. This event shows that we start start dragging. When on mouse up, we only on drag stop. We call this function. This function only change on drag stop, set state to the false, set drag, drag started, it's um, state. Okay, we are using three different hooks, use state, use ref and use effect. For, for state, in state you save is visible, so do we show navigation? Drugable component or not, we can change it. Uh, is drug started? It's just flag that shows that we already started dragging our slider. Also, we save all sizes we need. And do references. Reference for drug element is this circle. And for container, container is the size of the image, just on all sizes. So when we mounted component, we check delay and uh, if delay is not zero, we set in this timer with some delay. If not, set timeout zero and we set is visible true immediately and we show all components. The next one on drag start. When we started dragging, we have event prevent default behavior and we save all coordinates and sizes. So drag width 
we get, we get drag element it's this circle we take width then we have x x position where we clicked started dragging and uh, sizes to know where we can drag our component then we save these parameters to set state and uh, we lay here we save we already using already created sizes and uh, rewrite with new one and we said that dragging was started the next one important it's container on mouse move we have a container it's a figure and uh, event on mouse move when we started dragging we pressed key on the mouse and started moving what we need first of all we check if we started dragging then if we have position we calculate where we need to put our component and uh, it's pretty easy calculation so we calculate left value its uh, position minus a half of the size of our draggable component the next we calculating the uh, sizes of our box container just not move out of the box and uh, then we calculate position so position left value plus half of draggable element and uh, minus offset and then we call transform it into the percentage percent and save this data slider position inside in the component also when we click on the component uh, container we stopping dragging so we set two parameters it's for our div it's a width this component has overflow hidden and it's a wrapper for modified image and we are passing the same size for handle handle and set left position it helps us to create this moving effect let's go to styles so contain in container we have max width this one let's take a look in case we will remove it these sliders will take the whole width and it looks awesome as well the next one position absolute for image resize the image overflow hidden it's like our container the, the very important part it's transform translate z0 it's uh, turn on uh, hardware acceleration to render this component and render rewriting it so styles for image in this container and for label also we have animation for showing cd bounce in when we reload our page we see that we have this smooth animation it's this part so that's it it was pretty easy implementation of this component and what's the most important it's a very good practice for react development if you need to create something new not a regular application or website you can find some great uh, component or code snippet created with different other libraries and try to rewrite it with react to improve your skills so as you see in this task we used different hooks reference for example to calculate width it's not a regular react developer task it's something new real new and uh, that's it so if you have some great uh, scripts you would like to rewrite with react you can leave a comment and uh, maybe we will rewrite it 
together using React. So all resources you can find on, me, on my GitHub repository, link is under the description as I mentioned before. So don't forget to subscribe my channel and soon you will see more interesting and useful tutorials how to use React in some different way. So good luck and uh, that's it.